I'm flossing while you guys are coming on live. There's a popo right here. I swear there's a station right here. Anyways, um, there's a few things I want to talk to you guys about. One, remember how yesterday I was like, dads, if you want to do something nice for the mamas, grab your children, go take them out, give mom a break. There should have been a disclosure in that. And the disclosure should have been, unless you guys are divorced or separated, the mom has been rolling single mom for a minute. Don't be coming and taking her children the day of her day, that Cupid or fucking pagan holiday made it a mother's day don't take it on that day don't decide on that day of all days been calling your ass for a motherfucking week to come get the children's the children's been calling you asking when you're coming over you're going to decide that the day of pagan holiday ass motherfucking mother's day you're going to decide that's the day you're going to come pick up the kids it doesn't fucking work that way. Do not, I repeat, do not go take your children the day of Mother's Day. Every other day you could have fucking picked them up. You're going to decide on the day of that that's the day that you're going to get them. It don't work that way. You don't, you don't get that. You don't get to take that away from the mama, especially since you didn't even have the goddamn courtesy to say happy Mother's Day to the mother, the person that has birthed your children, the person that has fucking came and done your part and her part all in one and you're going to decide the day of that that's when you're going to come get those kids bitch please i wish a motherfucker would and he tried and he couldn't he had to bring those kids back shoot uh, uh you guys know how i roll secondly i've been trying to fucking date i have it's not easy it's not easy to date when you're a single mom of three kids nobody wants to take that responsibility but the, here's the thing that guys don't understand ain't nobody asking you to take that responsibility I've been doing perfectly fine with my three kids and figuring out hustling and do whatever I do with my village right by right behind me helping me out I didn't ask you to come save me nobody asked you to come save me with my three children I'm asking you to be a partner and build something with me which is what I asked for my ex but he couldn't fucking get that he didn't understand that that I wanted to build an empire together so dating has been interesting because one yeah motherfucking ninjas are broke ninjas are broke because they have to fucking pay child support on children they didn't want to fucking take care of in the first place just like my motherfucking ex doesn't want to take care of them but here's the difference you don't have independent ass bitches that don't need your ass to fucking take care of us that's the difference you have bitches that are depending on your income they are depending on you to send them child support and whatnot and they're taking your ass to court and readjusting shit and doing shit not all of us are made equally. Not all of us are created equally. We don't all roll like that. We have parents that have raised us to be strong, independent motherfucking women to that in case a motherfucker decides he don't want to be a part of it, we got this. Ask my sister. That's one of her fucking biggest flaws with her husband and her. She's independent as fuck. The biggest problem Kenneth had with me was that I was independent as fuck. He wanted me to allow him to take care of me. Guess where that put me? Trying to make up for the shit that he left us with, the debt that he left us with. So don't do that to yourself, women. Be independent and continue to be independent. Men, I'm not asking you to come save me. I'm asking for a partnership for us to work together. And a lot of other women are as well. If you have the kind of woman that wants you to fucking be child supporting everything, that's their prerogative. Ask me when I fucking filed for child support with this motherfucker and I still haven't fi finalized the final paperwork because one, I know he's never gonna fucking provide because any other man wouldn't need me to file child support papers. He would have said, here, this is what my kids deserve. This is what my kids need. If you're that type of man, that's the kind of man I need in my life. I need an independent ass man that can take care of his and then take care of us together, not single handedly. No, I'm asking for a partnership. 
So guys, it has been tough because you fucking ninjas are like, where's your half? What are you going to pay for? What are you going to do? That's not how it rolls. Don't ask me to do fucking shit. That's not how I roll. I roll as like, hey, babe, I got us this time. Don't expect that shit all the time, though. Don't fucking expect it to be coming like that. I need to know that you're able to fucking, you're capable enough to take care of yourself. And if push come to shove and I need you, needed you to take care of me, that you would be able to do that as well. <coughs> the fighting that fucking allergy so sorry i'm gonna swallow that mm, fuck yep it happened it's done it's done so it's been tough you guys it's been tough to date as a single independent ass women of three kids because these guys will be like oh baby i'm sorry i'd like to take you out to eat but i'm broke or let's hook up and hang out but can you put some on it? Cause I this I'm tight on money this month. Motherfucker, you've been tight on money for the last three motherfucking months. And you want me to fucking believe that it's just this one time around because you gotta pay for this and that. Bitch, what do you think I have to fucking pay for? I got three fucking kids that I love and I adore and I appreciate. But we all got shit. We all got bills. And I manage mine and yours. Mmm. So that's the problem with dating me, you guys. That's the problem with even me dating me. I even expect a lot from me. So don't come at me. Don't introduce me to your broke ass friend that is barely making it because he has a baby mama here and a baby mama there. I don't need that shit. There's a reason why I had my three babies from the same fucking dad. I did not need no baby mama drama or baby daddy drama. I needed my own drama. And I knew what I can handle and that's why I had the third child. Shit, I'm tempted to have a fourth child because I know I can handle that. I can handle that. I requested that. Not nobody else. I ain't asking you for shit. Don't tell me what I can and cannot do. I've been doing and working perfectly fine on my own. Do I struggle? Fuck yeah. Do you not struggle? You're going to sit there and paint me your pretty ass fucking life on Facebook and Instagram acting like ain't shit wrong? Motherfucker, please. I know better than that. We all have problems. We all have issues. We all have things that we fucking deal with, our own fucking demons. Don't just sit there and act and pretend that everything's nice and pretty just because we post it. Don't mean it's happening all the time. <sighs> I'm okay, though. Sorry, I'm just having issues because I just came from one of those fucking dates where you're just like, don't worry, I got my own. I paid for my own. Even the bartender was like, you one of the independent ass bitches, huh? And I said, motherfucker, you better believe your ass I am. Shit. I'm trying to fucking depend on no man. I ain't trying to have no man later on tell me, well, I got you for this. Which is, this is the one guy that I dated that did that shit. He, well, remember that one time? Bitch, what one time? How about the other times that I did you? That I helped you out? Uh-uh. See, it don't work like that. My ex did the same thing. Well, remember that one time that I, it doesn't work like, partnerships don't fucking work like that, you guys. It's give and give and take and take. It's... Uno pa ti, uno pa mi. It's not just dame, dame. They don't make men like they used to. They don't make men like they used to make my daddy. I keep looking for that man in the relationships that I start dating. The men that I start looking shit. At this point, women are starting to fucking look hot. And like, I need to fucking date their independent asses. Because women are fucking kicking ass nowadays. Let me meet an Ocasio kind of fucking bitch shit. I'll fucking do her in a minute. I'll turn let's be honest real quick. Not like just when alcohol. They don't make them like they used to. They don't make us women like they used to. They don't make our mamas like mamas like our mamas were. Shoot. I wish a motherfucker would. I wish they would. <sighs> Life is hard, y'all. And I, I get it. Balancing this and that. And I'm going to post all the shit that you guys send me, which I appreciate. Because you guys are like looking up and re giving me respect and shout outs. And I appreciate that. But I'll tell you what. Life ain't not easy. It is not easy having to come home and do the same routine over and over. Barely making it. Having to hustle and make those shirts because you need to make ends meet or you need to make you know shit happen for your kids because they want shoes or they want this and you ain't trying to depend on no fucking man <sighs> it's fucking tough out there i'll tell you what but yeah my daddy they don't make him like that my mom didn't work a day in her life outside the home and you all know that working inside the house is fucking hard enough try to be a, a stay-at-home mom that shit is a job in itself and that don't don't give you no break so once one you're fucking a working mom and you're a mom moms don't get a break moms don't it's 24 7 without pay my mom kicked ass my mom said she can go 
till till this day, Sachinga. Raising us, taking care of her children, taking care of her grandchildren. Matter of fact, I went in down and she takes care of her great grandchildren. That's the kind of woman she is because she's so goddamn strong. That woman don't fucking break at all. And that's how they make women nowadays. They don't make them. They don't make they don't make us like that anymore. Now we want everything handed to us. Now we're sensitive because they told us this or they told us that. Now we're sensitive because fucking they serve peanuts in a restaurant. Oh, I'm allergic to peanuts. Chingala madre, we weren't allergic to shit. We got what we got, and that was it because that's what we could afford. Y'all raised on government cheese? Y'all ever try to make a quesadilla on some government ass cheese? Hell fucking no. That shit is hard to be made. So, uh uh, guys. And for all those women that were raised by single ass strong women, props to you. I know a lot of women that were that got left just like I did. And these motherfuckers try to show up like they own the shit, like they belong, like they never did nothing wrong. Bitch, please pay a bill for ones. Buy your kid clothes. My kids are rolling in high waters. They don't give a fuck, but they're rolling in them. Old ass shoes. I need to go take Kevin again to go get shoes. Those new shoes are practically those shoes, new shoes, I'm going to say, because they're kind of old, but they're new. Don't fit him anymore. That's how quickly he grew out of them. So, guys, I give you props. I give you props for holding your own. All you single moms out there, even those in a relationship, because you're going to call it a relationship, but you know you've been struggling in that said relationship for years because you want to make it work for the kids and you're going to stick around for the kids. Your kids know what's up. And everybody around you know what's up. You can pretend all you want. Here comes one of my little rugrats. You can pretend all you want that your life is perfect at home. Bitch, we be knowing. We see that shit. What's up, baby love? Hi. What'd you do? Ooh, bo baby boy got a coco. Mommy. Hi. I'm on a live right now. I'm on an Instagram live giving some real, real shit right here. So that's what I got to say about that. That's where I'm at right now. Am I going to go to the gym tomorrow? Pro I'm so fucking tired, you guys. So since I haven't done my step bed, I'm barely at 6,200. Can you stop? 6,200 steps. I would By now, it would have been like at 12,000. Excuse me. Hi, baby loves. Hello. Ugh. So that's my realness. That's where I'm at, you guys. Like I said, life is tougher than I don't know what. Pig skin, no leather, maybe. Armadillo. Who's who has tough skin? Moms have tough skin. She I just goes down. I actually have tough skin. Matthew has tough skin. And I, I, this, what do I tell my kids all the time? I do tell uh, them that I appreciate them. Uh, I appreciate their independence. I appreciate them understanding where their mom sometimes come from. It. We had it rough last night, didn't we, baby? We had it pretty tough when said person came over last night, didn't we? When a particular somebody tried to take you with him. Oh. Uh, it was tough. It was tough uh, for me as a mom to try to swallow that. He's trying to show you guys his little coco. But you know what? I got to give it to my kids because even though they had to come home and I threw the biggest tantrum you could ever throw as a mom when some motherfuckers trying to take your children away on the day of your Mother's Day and they came and they sat down, waited for me to get ready patiently, didn't cry, didn't argue. As a matter of fact, this one right here, because this one's an old soul, was like, I don't understand why he would try to do that. So... Our kids see it, guys. Our kids see everything, every struggle, every hurdle, every obstacle that we take. They're seeing it. Even if you try to say that you're staying in it for your kids, they're watching and they're paying attention. And even the things that go unsaid, they understand. So I always remember that, that even the unsaid, they get, they understand. They see your struggle. They see where your sacrifice is coming from. You don't have a shoe. Where is your shoe? Where's your shoe? What happened to your shoe? You guys should see the face that he gives me. Where is your shoe? Charlie Bear? Where is your shoe? Yes. Where's your shoe? Oh, it's over there. Donde esta el zapato? 
so guys much love much respect to all of you guys all of you guys that are doing challenges and working mm -hmm. out and hitting me up about changing your lifestyle i appreciate you and i'll tell you what you will see the difference and feel the difference real quick um no puppy don't touch it takes time it takes sacrifice um dedication commitment and just just <laughs> oh, I push thing was in my night it was last morning whatever <laughs> um so just keep pushing and I, and I i tell you what these kids as young as they are as little as you think they are they understand they do see your struggle they see how much you love and care for them they see how much you want to do for them so keep pushing keep doing you keep pushing for that you're not ever going to be perfect. I'll tell you that right now. You're going to make mistakes all the time. I yell at them for not cleaning the room so many times. There's times where I'm like, why do I even worry? Why do I? Why is it even a thing? Until I go in the room and I find like shit that's rotting and then it pisses me off. Um, but it is what it is. You're still a family. You stick together. I appreciate my kids. I appreciate my madre. I appreciate my padre they have stuck with me they have done for me even my tia and this is a relationship with one of my aunts you guys that i would have never thought would have been able to be where it's at right now i would have never thought if you guys know me you guys have known that i've come from struggle i come from sacrifice and i come from suffering i come from a lot of shit that has happened in my life and if there's anything that I've taught anybody, even my, my nieces and my nephews who their dad wasn't around, and I always told them, I said, you are not going to be a product of this situation. You are not going to fail because of this situation. You will prosper and you will be successful because of this situation. You will prove to the world and to that person that no matter if they weren't in your life, you will conquer and you will become somebody because that is who you are and that's how I raise my kids to do the same exact thing. No hay sacrificio que no valga pena. No hay sacrificio que no te haga más fuerte de lo que eres. There is, everything that you go through is for a reason. Everything that you go through makes you stronger. I wouldn't be the person that I am today had I not gone through the struggles that I went through growing up. A lot of things okay, you I'm suppress. Out. A lot of things you forget about. But the, some things stick there. And some things do because of that. Because you remember the struggle. You remember the tears. You remember the fear that you had. To see somebody, the asco that you felt to be around somebody because of situations that happened in your life have made you a stronger person, had made you that person to be able to stick up to a man and be like, that's not how I deserve to be treated. This is not, I will not accept this from you. It's because of those situations that you had to endure. It's because of those situations that you had to live through. Appreciating my children even more so than that mom that had babies so easily. is because of me losing children before them. Me going through that. I might feel, I mean, it might be the same, it might not be. But I might appreciate the relationship and the, the struggle. I might appreciate having them even a little bit more because I had to work extra harder for them. I had to endure pain and tears and sacrifice for them. I'm not gonna spoil the fuck out of them, I'll tell you that, and they know that, right, Matthew? They're gonna struggle and they're gonna fucking be raised a certain way. They know already that mom's not always gonna be here. Is that correct, Matthew? He's just fucking around back there. But he already knows that mom is not always gonna be here for him. And that's okay with me because I need him to learn to live without me. Oh, did I just spit? That was a big old spit. So ladies, endure your pain. Endure your sacrifice. Endure where you've been and where you are now. It is a reason. There is a reason why you went through those pains. There is a reason why those tears are there. There is a reason why you lived that life. And made you who you are today. Either a big ass fucking cunt ass bitch. Or a generous ass bitch generous ass person my kids is laughing he cracks up when i cuss but it's gonna make you who you are a stronger woman a weaker woman for it a dependent woman on some other man or something because you lack that or independent because you ain't trying to have that whatever it may be just always try to be the best 
best version of yourself is all I ask you. Always try to be the best person that you can possibly be. Always try to use common sense and help others. Don't get stuck in a rut. Don't be bitter and don't blame your bitterness and your sad and your all these failures on other people. Own it. Own what you got because we need to own our shit. Otherwise, we're never going to be able to fix it. So I love you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Keep pushing. Keep doing you. I'm going to go home and probably put these kids to bed. They all need a haircut. If somebody could teach me how to do care for boys, I'd really appreciate that. Las quiero un chingo. I appreciate each and every one of you more than you ever think and know. Um, I have no shame in saying I love you. A lot of my Dia Feliz Dia de las Madres and Happy Mother's Day responses were I love you because I have no problem saying it. And if I've told you that, it's genuine. It comes from my heart. I think my biggest flaw is loving people too hard. I love you guys too hard. And I, and I sometimes I think I expect too much or I want too much because I love you guys so much. Verito, yes, Veronica, we are so overdue, girl. We, you realize our last one was that fucking that mimosa place or whatever we went to? We're overdue. Let's do that. Let's even a hike, whatever. Hey, fucking yo. Marisol's always out of town. Where are we gonna find her? We're gonna, find her. We're gonna have to go somewhere out of town to find her ass. So, um, big hugs, big love, major love. Like, I miss so many of you guys. I haven't seen you. I'm so grateful for social media because I do get to catch up. Matthew's over there snoring because mommy's talking over talking. They do that when I'm scolding them too. So um, be strong, Judy. You can come with us, baby girl. I think, and I think you know what? That's another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. This is the first year on my social media that I did not have moms on there posting their Gucci, 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 la, la, la. My husband got me this. My husband got me that. Blah, blah, blah. Bullshit. It wasn't about material shit this year with you guys. And I think that's because I finally got my circle, my village, my people in a state where I'm at. I'm not about that Gucci, Gucci, la, la, la stuff. And trust me, we all got it. We all got the Kate Spades and Pradas and this and that. Shit we couldn't fucking afford. I couldn't afford it now. I'll tell you that. But if my kids can afford it, afford other shit because I'll buy them the Jordans and this and this and that or whatnot. But um, my kids over here messing with the singer. You guys don't even know what he did. Um, I have to say that this year I felt sense of like orgullo from you guys. Because you guys weren't posting about that. It wasn't about like, my thank you to my husband because he got me the Prada, top of the line, blah, 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 chingada madre. That's not how you show love. You guys were posting your family pictures. You were posting pictures with your children. Charlie, can you stop? That's what it's about. So I feel like I finally got my circle, the right circle. I got rid of the toxic people that I was telling you guys about. Not everybody's your friend. Not everybody's there for the right reasons. And I, trust me, give me a Prada purse. I will post that shit real quick. But it's not always about that. And I, and you know, for those that have gone on trips and stuff, by all means, I'm not taking away from that. I'm not taking away from like post your expensive shit. You worked hard for that shit. You deserve to post about that shit. I'm talking about when it came down to genuine love, to genuine shit, and you guys had to post about Mother's Day or whatever. My kids over there fucking around. You guys were posting the right things. You guys were posting about family. You were posting it with your mothers, with your in-laws, with your kids. That's really what, it, what matters. That's really where I'm like... I have the right circle. I have the right set of friends in my circle that are in the right there. You guys are in your right place. Are you, doing? you are comfortable where you're at because I know goddamn well that you got the expensive cars. You have the expensive wallets, expensive watches, but you didn't feel the need to have to post that to the world to prove something to the rest of Instagram. And those are the kind of friends. That's the kind of circle that I need to be around because I know what you have at home. I know the beautiful home that you have. I know the the beautiful car and children and husbands and whatnot that you have and you didn't feel the need to have to post that because you're confident in what you already have that you didn't feel the need to do that you're confident enough to say this is what I'm grateful for 
these kids are what I'm grateful for. This is what I've worked so hard for. So I got to give a shout out to all of you guys for doing that because nowhere in my social media or maybe I missed it or what have you. Or maybe there was one, but I think that was an acquaintance that had a poster fancy purse or whatever. Didn't even post the churins, but they posted their fucking fancy purse, right? So I love you guys for that. There's, I can't fucking say how much I pre like it made me really realize where you guys are at and that these are the kind of people that I look up to and appreciate and that you guys are my go-to people Bye. for advice or whatever it is that may be because you're genuine and you're true to yourself. So I'm right there with you. Right, sad face? Mateo's over here fucking up my speech. Yes, my love. Are you bullying me? So that's what I got. I'm just giving you guys a shout out. I really appreciate your love and affection and your your genuine love for your children and your family and just where you're at. I think everybody's in a good, happy place. We're all broke. We're having struggles. We're having issues. We're having to do side jobs to fucking make ends meet. But yet we're fucking happy as fuck. So um, Auntie Lane says, hi, boys. Hi. Uh, so that's a... That was Elaine. See what I mean? That was a fake ass high right there with the little motherfucker. Come say hi so she could see you. Why are you bullying me? Say hi. <laughs> swish, swish, swish. Hey. Yay! The wheels on the bus or the bus or what does it say? Hey. Oh, yay! So, what does it say, Charlie? The wheels on the bus go round it. The wipers on the bus go. Swish, swish, swish. Swish, swish, swish. All right, guys. I love you. That was super long. I'm so sorry. And I do cuss a lot. I'm sorry. My kids are used to me cussing and cursing up a storm. I'm so tired. I've been up since 4 in the morning. This is my morning dialysis morning with my dad. So if you guys follow me constantly and see my stories, you know that I... These are, this is my Bye. week. I'm very grateful for my Bye. brother that has stepped in and now we switch weeks. So that it just, it helps a lot. Noel, you're fucking Bye. late to the show, bro. You're going to have to rewatch my story and it's long. But I'm bashing on everything and giving props at the same time. Bye. Um, so you rewatch that. I'll save it. You know, I'm starting to think I'm going to post these on Facebook, on, on YouTube, but I cuss Bye. a lot. I cuss a lot, lot. Bye. Um, so, man, get your shit together so you can start dating me. The kids want me to get married. Why are you mooning me? Why are you mooning me? The kids, every time I talk to a boy, it doesn't matter. They're like, I'm like, he's married. He has kids. It's okay, mom. Marry him. They feel I need a man for him. No. You're crazy. You're lying. Really? You're lying. Really? Liar, liar, your pants on fire. Hang you from a telephone wire. Definitely rated R. I do cuss a lot. I do a lot of F bombs. My kids are very used to it. Shoot, even my little weritas used to me. Um, so. Are you bullying me? Noel, you were supposed to go with me to the gym, as I believe, too. So they're going to start another uh, challenge on June something. I think I posted something about it. So get on it with your bad self. You've lost a lot of weight too, by the way. Um, okay, mi amores, my kids over here hey. fucked around my car. Los quiero mucho. Hagan lo que sigan haciendo. Trabajen duro. Esfuércense. Vale la pena. Todo vale la pena en esta vida. Agradezco tanto a mis papás por todo lo que han hecho por nosotros, por sus hijos. Nunca nos han juzgado por los errores que hemos cometido. I can tell you guys that for a motherfucking fact. I've made a gazillion mistakes. Shit, people thought Charlie was a mistake when I got pregnant from him. Did my parents ever pass judgment? Hell fucking no. Everybody else passed judgment, but not my parents. And they love this little rug rat like nobody's business. It's their kid. It's not even my kid. So love that hard. Love that unconditional love like that where it doesn't matter what your kids do it doesn't matter where they fuck up or don't love them unconditionally and trust me there's going to be disappointments I know I've disappointed my parents so many different ways but they've never shown me that they've always loved me they've always welcomed me and accepted me mistakes or not so do that love like that okay for reals bye